Big exciting news for a Tuesday afternoon as Nancy Pelosi confirms the deal negotiations between her and the White House are much closer. Incredible progress has been reached just today, Tuesday, since early morning's taping. They say that they're very close to a deal and that the deadline of tonight is now off and that could continue to work. So that deadline that was really never there is now gone. Uh, needless to say, I'm sure there's some other YouTube channels that are going to report, oh, there's an agreement and there's a deal and there's a law this afternoon and you're going to get a check tomorrow. The check is going out tomorrow. I can tell you that the only thing that's going out tomorrow is Nancy Pelosi's hairstyle. <laughs>Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm your, you're here, your alpaca, your dog, your llama, your uh, lizard, <laughs> the whole, the hermit and the permit and the... <laughs> and the raccoon. I got it all. And Nancy Pelosi bats. Uh, but I really appreciate you for tuning in in a day in which there's incredibly great news. I'm not going to overstate the news and I'm not going to make your make you more excited than um, so that your hair stands up because ultimately that's what Nancy Pelosi's hair just looks like. It's sort of mine today as well. But go to the front of the channel, subscribe because this is incredibly great news. There is incredible great news and I'm going to tailor it to you so you understand really what's going on. Also, like this video. We're approaching three 300,000 subscribers, so let's get there. We're about, I don't know, 1,500 away, so it's really exciting. Imagine getting your stimulus check and 300,000 subscribers announced on the same day. Well, let's see. Uh, in this video, I'll be going over why a deal is now very close and what has happened since early mornings, LA Light, mornings, LA Light, and 28. A lot of developments just since those last three tapings. Next, I'll go over where your stimulus check is likely at the moment amid a group of people who don't want to tell you much of anything. Third, I'll go over deal or no deal. I'll go over why there's still a holdout and what are the issues of holdout. Next, I'll be going over MSC. Then I'll be going over a big issue, which I want to get your fingers ready for, the, for Twitter. You need demand answers from these people on where their numbers are. I don't want to have these people to sort of say at the 11th hour, deal and here are the numbers and they're horrible. Congratulations. I, we should have a say in this. I mean, we're the purple power. Give us a, give us a rundown on where your numbers are. Uh, it's not take it or leave it. You're way or the highway and finally that deadline all right let's get to the breaking news the breaking news as we sit here this afternoon is that the relationship between the parties is better than imminent uh, and, and closer to deal but not at a deal so it's somewhere between really close and deal um, the point is whether they will reach that deal point. This is the closest the parties have ever been in the negotiations as of this afternoon. Since taping of 28, which I taped at about 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Since taping of mornings, which I taped at 6. And since taping of a third of early mornings. So this is breaking development now as I sit here at about 12.30 Pacific Standard Time. And sure enough, things could change by the time that this video is uploaded. Um, what I'll tell you is there's reasons why I am scared skeptical, and I'm going to tell you why. Nancy Pelosi says that the reason why they're closer today is because the White House agreed to terms on testing, testing and tracing. If you've been watching all the videos in recent, well, I guess the last two days, since almost Saturday, I've been telling you there was an agreement on testing and tracing. That Steve Mnuchin appeared on Squawk Box on CNBC and said, you know what, why does she keep on saying there's no agreement on testing and tracing? I gave her the language she wants, I gave her the amount she wants, and she keeps on saying that there's no agreement. He's specifically said it's fully overblown her claim that there's no agreement on the situation. Today she says there's an agreement on the situation. Needless to say, I don't know if it's a he says, she says, but finally she confirms what he said on Friday. So have they really made progress? And what are the items holding out? Before I get to that, let me go over the stimulus check as we all are certainly laser focused on. What you need to understand, I'm going to get to this later in the video, is that these people are not giving briefings about numbers. Once in a while, they're giving us briefings about deal provisions. But as we sit here today, we have absolutely no numbers. I am just 
pissed off and sick of, of not hearing any numbers for these people. It's sort of like a joke. You're negotiating over numbers. And I'll be going over her interview with Joe Reed, uh, which was yesterday. And in that, she had no numbers again. I mean, why can't they tell us numbers? But the most recent update from Steve Mnuchin on numbers, which was not last Sunday, but the Sunday before, which is literally like a week and a half ago, was for stimulus checks, all individuals who are adult, $1,200. So if you are a single individual, $1,200. If you're an adult dependent, $1,200. If you're on SSDI, SSI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, $1,200. Um, this is totally different than the first stimulus package. The detail I'm giving to you is no different than I've been reporting to you for over a week. If you are on SSDI, SSI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits and did not get a first stimulus check in, the, in March because you're a dependent on someone else's tax return, that is no longer an issue as of the last update from Steve Mnuchin. Steve Mnuchin says we're not going to worry about whether you're dependent or not dependent. If you're an adult, it's one answer, $1,200. I'll say it again. If you're an adult, $1,200, one check. I don't care if you're dependent or not dependent. I don't care if you're on SSDI or SSI. It's $1,200. Children, $500? No, $1,000 is Steve Mnuchin's last offer. Now, that's the last update from Steve Mnuchin, which was two weeks ago. Why can't we be given updates by these people? It's sort of ridiculous. All we know is that Mark Meadows, 24 hours ago, and I detailed on Early Morning to LA Late this morning, said that the reason why they the president went from 1.8 to 1.9, which is actually 1.85 to 1.9, uh, this is Mark Meadows last night, is because the president is now giving additional, that's the word he used, additional money for second stimulus checks. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so what does that mean? Can you give us the, can you give us the deal provision? No, it's, uh, when, whoosh, we don't tell you anything. Why don't they ever tell us anything? It's sort of ridiculous. So additional money for stimulus checks could mean a lot of different things. One, it could mean that the check amount is higher. Two, it could mean the eligibility is broader. There's a whole there's a whole battleground between these people on who should get the stimulus checks. The Republicans only want people with Social Security numbers. The Democrats want more people than people that have Social Security numbers. Three, it could be the number of people in the household, which I've been talking about a lot. If you're a single mom with four kids, sometimes under Republican plans, they only give you the three kids. They don't give you the fourth kid. And then there could be the there could be other issues. Ultimately, what you need to understand is they're not telling us. Um, next, deal or no deal? Is there a deal or is there no deal? There is currently no deal. And I want to make this very clear because I assume you're. I always have to assume someone's new to this channel. And if you're not, and and because of that, I have to get you up to date. Whatever Nancy and Steve do, it is not law. So if you see someone doing this on one of those YouTube channels today and say, law, check coming tomorrow. No, these are just two people chatting. It's not a law. Ultimately, if Stephen Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi reach an agreement by the time this video is uploaded, that's not a law. It has to be signed. It has to be passed by the House, passed by the Senate, and signed by the President. Those are three big steps at this point. So ultimately, no, there is no law, and no, there is no check going out tomorrow. Next, uh, what could hold this up, and what happened to that deadline? I just can't. Uh, I told you the fake deadline was fake. Well, it's even more fake today because Nancy Pelosi in statements this afternoon said, well, you know, there was that thing. And uh, the fact is that we're working on dealing with talking about dealing and reaching an agreement about something. So, uh, yeah, whatever deadline. <laughs> whatever your name is deadline. <laughs> Don't come back to me unless you have a better deadline. I just, you know, chilling, going hungry, dead. I just, you know, just, uh, suddenly that deadline is gone. Yes, so I'm going to make that very clear to you. Suddenly her deadline is gone. It is no longer a deadline, as though it was a deadline before. <laughs> I just can't with these people. I just, I, I really can't. It just, it's, it's like a comedy, a sick comedy of errors. Um, next, what could hold up the deal? This is what, I just, I can't say this is a straight face. What could possibly hold up the deal is exactly what held up the deal in July. <laughs> and then Wall Street's like, oh, we're so excited. I'm like, do you know the deal was held up in July by exactly the same thing they have not agreed to yet? No? Well, you haven't been watching that one, I think. Uh, remember what happened in July? Do you remember the single thing that, that caused these people to stop negotiating in July? 
you remember, because you've been with me, stayed in local. She didn't want to talk about it. He didn't want to talk about it. Finally, he, I want to say exposed, but basically he, he slammed her on CNBC, says the reason we didn't deal to get to an agreement is she wants to give a big bailout of state and local. And that became sort of the topic of this channel for upwards of three weeks. Well, guess what they have not agreed to as of today? Stay in local. Uh, and they're $100 billion apart. And they don't agree on even the terms of staying local. Where they are today is basically, Steve Mnuchin has said, which is a great idea. Again, it's parrots. It's repeating what I said on this channel, which is give her staying local, but say it can only be used for COVID-19 issues. And it can't be used to paint the governor's mansion or to mow the lawn in the front yard or put a new rose garden in the backyard. Uh, and that's what they've been doing, literally. They've been doing with your stimulus money and all these packages is just making their office is really cute and like you know getting new furniture Lily getting new furniture it's like this has to stop I mean go get your own dollar furniture this is our stimulus and so Steve Mnuchin says you know what we'll go to 300 billion dollars and Nancy's at 400 billion and we'll give you 300 billion but there'll be guardrails that's a Larry Kudlow term which I actually really like guardrails to ensure that the money's only used for staying local well she hasn't agreed to that see a problem I see a problem I see a problem. So, you know, she has always wanted to use this money for purposes that are not COVID-19 related. We all know that. So, deal or no deal? <laughs> you have your own opinion. I have mine. Uh, next, your stuff. MSC, multiple stimulus checks. I've told you on 28, I told you on mornings LA Light, and I told you on early mornings LA Light, that despite whether or not there is an agreement is it an agreement? Is it a deadline? Is it a deadline? The purple power is not going to silence itself and no longer demand multiple stimulus checks if there's an agreement signed and it's going out and the checks are going out, and a check is going out tomorrow. Because ultimately, and this is going to get to the next point in a second, is that these people have literally not done a service to you. This is the reason why Purple Power has been successful. The reason why MSC has been successful. The reason why this channel has been successful. Because these people are just doing things for themselves. They're not doing things for you. And so if they announce a wonderful $2 trillion deal this afternoon at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and we look at it and it's like, uh, what, what, I'm getting a $1,000 check? I'm not going to celebrate. What, what, what? I'm getting a thousand dollar check. Oh, I, today we had a big success in America. We crushed the virus, and America's back to normal. I'm like, I'm getting a thousand dollar check. Well, shut up. I, I don't talk about that. We're going to talk about how we're crushing the virus and we're feeding. Ultimately, we're not going to buy that crap, and ultimately, we're not going to roll over. So the and the reason why, and I need you to understand this, and this is very important, is that this is just the second stimulus package. This is not over. No Democrat, no Republican believes that this is the final stimulus package. This is a stimulus package that was supposed to be passed in July that they're trying to pass this week. And it's not the final stimulus package. Now, what would happen is basically the demands of the purple power would ramp up and continue as we get head into the next stimulus package if these people have the audacity, which they may, give you one stimulus check and say, you should be really happy with one stimulus check. Oh, no, we're not happy. We'll take it, thank you. But we're not done with our push. And you're going to see how much louder we're going to be when we're over 300,000 subscribers. Um, next, your provisions and demand answers. Purple power. This is a new one. This is a new issue of homework. You need to be on social media and demanding Mnuchin and Meadows and Trump and Codlo and Pelosi and Drew Hamill, her press secretary, who never wants to tell you anything about how, except how horrible everyone is, to demand them to tell you what the deal items are by number. How much are you giving for this thing? How much are you giving for that thing? What is the deal provisions? What is this amount? What is that amount? Because ultimately what may happen is that these people may come out of a door and suddenly say on a Thursday morning, congratulations, we have a deal. And you're like, this is a horrible deal. I don't like this deal. Well, tough. This is the deal. That's not fair. It's really not fair to the American public. The two people have been negotiating in private, have not debriefed Americans on where they are on numbers, and have done literally a take-it-or-leave-it situation. And that is really not fair. Finally, your deadline. Your deadline's not today. Your deadline was not yesterday. Your deadline's not tomorrow. 
But as I said in all the earlier broadcasts today, one of the big deadlines, and that's not a deadline, one of the big dates is tomorrow. If Temple of Doom does not have a deal by the end of today, and even if she says that we're still working on it tomorrow, going to work a little bit more, you guess what? Executive orders, second stimulus checks, October surprise, multiple stimulus checks. Get them out and sign the deal on Wednesday, Mr. President, and go into the go into the de debate on Thursday. Say, you know what? She's held everything up. I went to the mat. I gave her two trillion, but enough is enough. I signed an executive order today on on Wednesday for your stimulus checks, multiple stimulus checks. I'm repurposing eight hundred billion dollars of CARES Act one money that has been sitting around in the coffers of PPP and uh, at SBA, and I'm sending out two thousand dollar stimulus checks, two of them to every adult in this country that will cost four hundred billion dollars. And I'm doing another round of LWA. I already have an executive executive order for that, and I'm having FEMA send out that money. We'll have about $200 billion of it. We'll use the $800 billion, and we're going to turn this country around. It's just so obvious. Just do it. Because ultimately, the October surprise should be a positive message. Americans elected this president because of his economic policies and may ultimately not elect Joe Biden because of his economic policies. The president, however, has been off message, focusing on scandals and not economics. And Joe Biden, on the other hand, has been deflecting and not really addressing economic issues, but winning a lot of voters on social issues. So the point is, is that neither candidate has really been focused on you. Neither candidate has been really focused on your stimulus. And with that, what I need to tell you is the following, that you need to push and demand these answers be revealed. Let me go over a little bit, because this video, is, I have a lot still in this video. Um, stay with me. I have coming up what what Wall Street and CNBC is saying about the deal and whether it will be hatched, new reports, and also some more Pelosi statements, and also Pelosi's interview of Joe Reed. When asked about what has happened, and this was as of yesterday evening, she, Pelosi said, well, negotiating with P Mnuchin is what we're trying to do is get something accomplished. But the fact is, you described it very well. From the start, the president's never taken it seriously. I don't know what to say. Um, but now, I'm going to cut out the stuff that I really care to, you to hear because it's, it's hyperbole. But now, at last, this is her last night, finally they've come to the table and we're going to try to get something done. And I've tried to make a tomorrow a time where we exchange all of our difference of opinion so we can, and numbers and papers so we can see. Let's make a judgment. We may not like this or we may not like this, but let's on balance see if we can go forward. Every time we think we're close, then they have a, then there's a setback. So we'll see tomorrow what will bring. That was before the remarks this afternoon that says we're now really close. Um, Pelosi was then asked about what went on over the weekends in negotiations and she talked about really the issue of language. Um, then Wall Street re re uh, reacted to the situation. Um, it ran one of the quotes by Pelosi midday that says it isn't this that this Excuse me. It isn't that this day was a day that we would have a deal. It was a day that we would have our terms on the table to be go a, be able to go to the next step. This is why you're at the, at the stage of the end of the video. That is her lying that there's no deadline anymore. What is she saying? She's now saying, I didn't really mean there's a deadline. Uh, you misconstrued my words. I meant something else. It isn't that this day was a day for a deadline, that we would have a deal. It was a day that we would have our terms on the table to be able to go to the next step. Basically, what she's saying is, um, I didn't mean that today would be a deadline to make a deal, that this, rather that this would be a deadline for everyone to tell everyone what they want. <laughs> if you haven't told the other side what you wanted since July, I think you need to rephrase the way you talk. <laughs> I mean... Uh, this goes with Susan Collins. I said, I think the party should start negotiating. I'm the start negotiating. Susan Collins, um, the elder statesman. Uh, I, Susan, they've been negotiating since July. Can you wake up? Um, there's a uh, 
the Hertz is outside. Don't get in the casket yet. I mean, this is, I'm dead, but you know, maybe you're not dead yet. It's just incredible. Let me answer some of the incredible 2,000 comments from yesterday. And before I do that, please stay tuned for the next video because what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be compressing the videos so they appear in a shorter time frame, uh, so they appear faster and more rapid, uh, so that you see the first video, you go right into the next video, rather than a 30-minute time lapse between each video. Let's try that as a new thing for today. Antonio, oh, for the love of Pete, the people right now, Mr. President, save the people, help the people. I love you, Adelaide. Well, I love you too, Antonio Perez. Debbie Weir, trust me, the American people have some language for Nasty Nancy, and it isn't nice. <laughs> Robert Pennell, Nancy should have been gone 20 years ago. What is she, 99 years old? Rose, this whole mess is a disgrace. Deborah, these people in Congress are useless. And she adds, this is sad and pathetic that we, the American people, have to rely on the rich to help us. They don't understand our pain and suffering. Crystal, fingers crossed that all our efforts will pay off tomorrow. Luke, let's talk about the government that has $6 trillion this year to bail out big corporations and $2.5 trillion to the stock market, but can't give to the American people. William Showalter, I'm hearing that Pelosi and Mnuchin are making progress at stimulus. This is 20 hours ago. And that they will speak again next week. Um, on, the, on the American people are hurting now. Get to deal with it now. God bless the people who are suffering. Tammy Anderson, seriously, Nancy is leaving, is Nancy's leaving her is imminent by way of purple power. We're trying. Um, Betty, this is not their money. Cindy, um, a lot of countries are doing better. Just give us the money you promised $2,000 every month for six months. Mark, I should be getting $10,000, really. Alicia, good evening, LA Purple Power. Kim, the people alone don't know what happened. Uh, Mike, but I want this now. And we do too. As I said, go to the front of the channel, subscribe. Subscribe because we're approaching 300,000 subscribers. And really, we are pushing like no one else is pushing. We are a family that is trying to get this to the finish line and get over the finish line. Also like this video. Coming up next is a continuation of Check with more developments on why a deal could be <laughs> better than imminent, uh, but not signed to paper and pen. Then McConnell versus Trump and Pelosi versus Mnuchin. Also like this video. As always, stay informed, stay focused, stay motivated, and stay with Ally for more.